me something, mister. Yeah, Jambalaya Day here on the uh, WLOX news set. Love it. And yeah, with a mix called Cook Me Something, mister, made right here on the Gulf Coast and the Master Chef right here, Kristen Pro. She's been on national television shows like Eat Street and Tailgate Warriors, and even has gotten a deal to sell this, if you could just smell it, this mix in Sam's stores. <laughs> Joining us here in the WLOX kitchen, she's going to show us just how easy it is to make jambalaya. Kristen, we're all in a hurry. Everybody wants to hurry up and get some good food on the table, but you want to do it quick, and this is right. awesome. Right. This is, I mean, this is a cooking segment, but let me just tell you, we can talk, we can chat, we can play a game. This is so easy to cook. I mean, And it's going to take us maybe how long to, to put this whole dish together? 30 minutes. Oh, Easy wow. cooking. And yeah. of that, the pot, the lid's on the pot, and we can go and... Enjoy a little afternoon cocktail while it cooks. Sounds good. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> um, anyway, so you've already got the sausages, you know, cut up, ready to go yeah. in the pan. And we all know that it doesn't take long to uh, warm up the sausages and get them cooked enough to go. Mm -hmm. And then what's next? We just simply pour our water in. And we're going to let it come to a boil. I tell you, this sausage is really good, too. I'm supporting some Mississippi sausage in here. The Thank you. Me. Yeah. And then, if you can just do the final step for me, I get to pour, pour that in there. Oh, if you only knew the how good this step. Mix. I got to. I mean, how'd you come up with this mix? Well, it's actually my family recipe. Yeah. My dad taught me how to cook this. And here we go. Just, pour it in. There you go. Most difficult step right here. <laughs> but I tell you, being a, a member of the pro family, if there's one thing we know how to do well is cook jambalaya. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> But this all came to be to the business, actually um, as a result of Hurricane Katrina. When it hit, my dad and I, my whole family, we just wanted to do something to help out, just mm -hmm. like the rest of the people across the Gulf South. And we decided, let's get on the road, let's cook up some jambalaya and raise money for New Orleans and for the Gulf South. So traveled And you raised a good bit of money. We did. We traveled to 10 different states, raised over $100,000 for a university in New Orleans. And just overwhelmed by the response from people who were wanting to support the Gulf South. But where the inspiration came is how much people loved the recipe. And it just made us think, can we make this into a business? And it's just beyond my wildest dreams that I'm standing here now, cooking it on the show with you, have it in a package with my... I have my own picture on there. I love the this. Jambalaya you know, girl. And this, this is party size. You were talking about how much people love jambalaya. Another mm -hmm. thing you love about jambalaya is it doesn't cost a lot to make. Right. You know, here we can buy a, a bag like this and feed 12 people. Oh, yeah, call it the party size. Party size. But that's that's New Orleans. I mean, jambalaya was made as a cheap and easy dish Just to like make. red beans and rice. Right, you know? right. And then we just made it really good. <laughs> oh, man. So the good old family recipe, you can mm -hmm. it can buy it at Sam's. And again, you know, you're, you're talking about a big old plate of food right. for just a few bucks. Right, right. It's cheaper than fast food, actually. It is. I mean, when you, it's just so... It's cheap, but I don't want to say it's cheap because it's so good. You can you can honestly cook well, you this. some of the finer restaurants serve jambalaya. They do, and some of the finer ones in New Orleans use my mix, but I can't disclaim. <laughs> <laughs> I can't disclose who that is. I'm just gonna put the lid there on. There you are, young entrepreneurs. Is it hard to get a product into the market? I wouldn't say it's it's hard. It's simple, and it takes a lot of persistence mm -hmm. and just a lot of work to get out there. I've been working on this for over three years now, and it, just to be at this point to where our customer base that we've built have requested to have our product in Sam's Club and Rouse's and local stores, mm -hmm. and that's just we're grateful for that. We're, we're so grateful, and it takes a lot of persistence. Well, to and get thanks it for there. using that Mississippi sausage in yes, your New Orleans mix. Okay, <laughs> yeah. we're all part of the Gulf Coast. After yeah. all. And I'm, so. I'm a Southern Miss grad too, so I got to represent. Oh, see? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Local girl done good. All yeah. righty. That well, sounds good. So if you're looking for a quick and easy meal, let me, let me smell that pot here. Quick little tidbit. Now, if, if you were cooking oh, this yeah. with me in the parking lot, typically when I do my tailgating during the, the fall, instead of 30 minutes, I just go by like two beers later. It's ready to serve. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Kristen, thanks for joining us I today. Know, it's been fun. I can't wait to try this. Ooh. We're going to go ahead and serve this up. Oh, and when oh, it's ready, get, you got to shout, yum, yum, right. come get you let, some. Let me do it. <laughs> uh, let me do it. Here. All right. Get right in there. There's your plate. <laughs> mm-hmm. We'll be right back.